Hi, I'm Jack, the uh, developer of the Solo Amp, and I want to give you a quick overview of the basic uh, design and features of the product. First of all, it's very small vertically, very small uh, width-wise, and very small depth-wise, and this unit weighs just over 19 pounds without the stand. With everything that's in the bag, the stand, the bag, and the cord, it weighs uh, right at 24 pounds, which is kind of astonishing when you uh, experience the product and see what kind of performance that it produces. Let's start from the back and move forward. Uh, first of all, this enclosure is a, uh, a very special composite resin that we have been tinkering with for years to get the kind of sound deadening and stiffness uh, and resonance resistance that we wanted from the product. Uh, so it's molded in two pieces. There's the rear enclosure, the front enclosure, and these two pieces clamshell around the parts on the inside, which is important because that mechanically uh, attaches everything in a very unified way from top to bottom. And what that does is it makes it more reliable, less susceptible to damage, and certainly eliminates all of the typical hundreds of points of rattling and buzzing that can be in other products that you experience over time. This is a gigantic heat sink and it's not decorative. It is very functional. We have a uh, computer modeled over an extensive period of time airflow chamber system inside the enclosure that's driven by the motion of the drivers that stimulates air motion better than just natural convection airflow to keep air flowing through both the electronics compartment and the compartment where the, uh, the rear of the drivers is, are located. And what this does is it keeps the drivers cool, keeps the electronics cool, and cooler drivers and cooler electronics behave more reliably and consistently over time and have fewer failure problems. Uh, this is part of that. The other part is this small venturi port at the top, which provides a very slight lift uh, between 65 and 80 hertz at the low end of the uh, bass performance for the, uh, for the solo amp, uh, but mostly uh, contributes to this natural convection airflow uh, that we're out. And while we're back here, we have a power switch a uh, AC power cord input. We have uh, an XLR line level output to uh, go to another solo amp, to go to a solo amp sub, to a uh, outboard mixer board, recording system, whatever you need to send the line, and then an independent level control for, uh, for that. So let's go back around to the front. The front, we have a stack of eight very closely spaced solo driver loudspeakers that sit above the control panel. This control panel has two identical uh, input channels. This, this one on this side and this one on this side. Let's start from the bottom and work the way up. This is a combination jack, except quarter, accepts quarter inch and XLR, either line or instrument level, and mic level with the XLR. And to make level matching as simple as possible, uh, we have a 10 dB pad button that you can kick in, and to use dynamic or condenser mics, we have a button to turn on uh, 48 volt phantom power, which has some bottom, it has some guts to it. It's not a thin, cheap 48 volt source. But uh, beyond that, each, each input has an independent gain control. And then here, uh, this has been the source of a lot of argument in the uh, development of the solar product. My, my purest theory is that a great amp should be focused on just making louder exactly the sound that's put into it. And within that kind of framework, uh, you wouldn't have any kind of tone uh, controls or, or uh, effects on the product at all. But that's not realistic. Independent uh, vocalists, uh, uh, vocalists that perform along with uh, groups or a variety of circumstances, oftentimes will want a, a vocal reverb. So we have a very nice vocal reverb, not really appropriate for instruments, uh, but uh, anyway, there's vocal reverb, and then there's a simple, active, teeter-totter tone control that when you turn it one way, lifts the bass slightly and reduces the treble, and when you turn it the other way, lifts the treble and reduces the bass. So you can kind of uh, adjust the sound out of the product. For instruments, uh, we really expect, since this is 2016 and not 1966, we really expect that most of our customers use uh, any of the gazillion wonderful outboard devices that there are to get exactly the sound and effects 
any cue that they want out of their instrument before they run it uh, into the amp system. So that's how most folks would be using this, and that's what we anticipated. Both channels uh, terminate into a single master level control, and here there's a mute switch. Obviously, you want to be able to turn it off when you're jacking things in and out, and uh, uh, power light, and that is the controls and the inputs for the solo man. Uh, we're very proud of this product, and we're very proud that you're interested in thinking about it. Uh, between the lightweight, the best-in-class uh, sound quality and projection out of this product, we think uh, the, the music industry is just going to love uh, solo We thank you for your time and attention.